Jersey Knight leads the way for Clorinda and a big win over Glenwood. Uh, Jersey, what a game, what a win for, for your team and your program. Uh, tell me, you know, what are the thoughts right now? How are you feeling after that one? Um, I, you know, I think we're all feeling really good. Obviously, we haven't beat Glenwood in a really long time, and we have the team to do it this year. And we just came in. We knew we wanted to win. We knew what we had to do to get it done. And we really wanted to step up from what happened against Atlantic. That wasn't us, and it's not what we're going to do the rest of the season. This was a game where, I mean, there were a lot of ups and downs, maybe some highs and lows. Uh, speak to having to kind of manage those, you know, the roller coaster that tonight was. You know, we've taken a lot of time in practice just learning how to calm down in certain situations, take control of the ball, and that's kind of just where I've kind of tried to step up a little bit is just get the ball, calm everyone down, just be like, hey, guys, we're fine, slow it down, like we got this, just kind of taking control more, and I think we all handled the press. Um, I was just reading the defense and taking drives, obviously, when they were open. You know, I didn't want to do too much for myself, so dishing it off to my teammates whenever they were open. And, you know, Addie was being face guarded the whole night. Maddie, there's a good chunk where she was face guarded. We got Kai out there hitting some shots, and then Bailey and Sage on the boards. All around, it was just a very, very good team effort. That final minute, uh, you know, able to make that stand, kind of what, what was the difference, you feel like, down the stretch? We were confident. We knew what we had to do. We've practiced it and practiced a bunch, so we knew that we just had to stay calm, take control of the game. Going forward, uh, you know, there's been some ups and downs so far this year. How do you guys try to build and learn off of both of those? We just take it one game at a time. We know that if we look forward, it's not going to be the greatest whatever you want to call that. So we just take it a game at a time, one step at a time. All right, Coach, uh, it's been a while since clearing to beat Glenwood, but you guys do it tonight. Uh, I'm sure you're really proud. What are the thoughts? Just, yeah, like you said, really proud. Ecstatic for the girls. Um, to do that on senior night, uh, it, it's just a, it makes it even more special for uh, Bailey, Sage, and Lily. Um, four years ago when they came into the program, it was kind of in a rough spot, um, but they just kept getting better and better, and a lot of that credit goes to Coach Hannafin and his staff as well for what they were able to do the, the last three years. So. Uh, to win against a team like that, I know Glenwood's a little down uh, compared to where they've been in years past, but that's a good program that's well coached. Um, so for Clarenda to get that win is huge. Uh, just couldn't be happier for the girls. And opponent aside, to win a game like this where, I mean, there were times you looked really good, maybe times you didn't look as good. How big is that going forward to win a game like that? That's huge. Uh, Tuesday night, we we really just beat ourselves. So that, that was just an ugly game in Atlantic. Uh, you know, we did a lot of things that we felt like were out of character and not really true to who we were as a team. Um, so for us to come out and respond like that, uh, you know, I guess I, the up and down, I, I expect a little bit. Uh, we got to continue to clean that up. Uh, but I felt like we saw a lot of really good tonight. We were forcing them to take shots that we wanted them to take. Um, we were rebounding. Man, we got our butt, butt kicked on the glass on Tuesday night. Um, but we came out and we fought. You know, it, I just couldn't be happier for the girls. Down five. Uh, midway through the fourth and all of a sudden you're up one. What kind of flip do you feel like? The girls just didn't seem bothered, uh, which is to, to know where we were, uh, you know, before Coach Hannafin took over and to see them respond to that with a, a lot of composure. We talk a lot about being composed under pressure. Um, you know, they weren't phased by the five point with just a couple minutes left. They came out, we talked in a timeout, uh, uh, you know, they, they hit a shot to go up five, and then their coach called a timeout, which was a great opportunity for me to talk to my team, get them, uh, you know, under control, composed, and ready to make a run to finish the game. They had a shot to win it and, and never got a shot off. Speak to that defensive stand that you guys were able to have there at the end. Yeah, when you got fouls to give, you got to give them, right? Uh, you know, uh, they, hit, they had to inbound the ball three times, and, you know, uh, the percentages, I guess, came in because on their last one, the ball started bouncing around on the floor. We dove on it and just hung on for dear life till we came away with the win. So, what does this do, hopefully, for kind of the confidence going forward? For sure, we felt like that tonight was a make or break. Uh, I know it's dumb to say that so early in the season, but we fairly felt like uh, tonight was going to send us one or two ways this year. So, uh, really excited to see what we can do. Uh, we get no break. We turn around Monday and play. Shan, and then Grandview Christian, uh, and then Denison Friday night, and finish out with Harlan to finish break. So just really excited uh, for what this does for our group.